your text? No, I want to expose you. I want to, I want to show people that what you're doing is wrong. Hey, sir, this spring, how are you doing? Very good. Yourself? This spring, we spoke about the shipment which did my owner operator and you got different part numbers and because of that, that you hold the payment just want to check what the status now what i need to do so we found out that this stuff was double brokered so we gave it to you and you gave it to somebody else now in a situation like that i gotta protect hey, sir, this guy is working that's yeah, fine this guy is working for company okay and uh, his operator if you need a confirmation from him we can him to call you and provide you everything that you need just let me know what you need perfect so what i need from the person that actually did the load i need his pars number or what he used to cross the border i need his carrier package and then i need to send him a confirmation and i will send you the difference okay which is whatever uh, whatever you made on all the right. shipment all right okay no problem Can but you please send me an email and confirm that uh, what we need to do yeah, give me just one you second. You have my email address. Yep, yep. All right, just send me an email. I will ask him to do everything. Okay, I will. So this guy is my owner operator, and there is there be not be any problems with that. No problem. Um, just for future, if you are booking loads on behalf of your owner operator, you should be calling the when you're booking loads, for example, with us. You need to be representing him and sending his authorities and his stuff. Like, there's a lot of dispatch yeah, services I, out I know, there. Brother, I told, I told her that we are going to move this one with our owner operator. The only because we already had booked the load before, and we didn't like to cancel it and book it again with another authority. Only reason is that. And he asked me to move it as soon as possible because his client is waiting for it and it's very important for him. That's why we just move that. Okay, no problem. Just try to understand us. I mean, we, we just, there's a lot of double brokering stuff right now and people going, that's why we have to take. Just please shoot me an email. I will. Uh, which you need to get and I will make it. No problem. Thank you so much for your time. I'll send the email right now. Thank you too. All right, so what happened in this situation? So we gave a carrier a load. Our broker's department gave a carrier a load. Now we find out once the shipment is finished and they're sending in the bill of ladings, we see that the person crossing the border is not the actual person that we gave the load to, okay? So there's a lot of double brokered stuff happening right now. There's a lot of freight being double brokered, triple brokered. Now, one of our citations in our broker carrier agreement is when we give a carrier a load, they are not allowed to sell that load again. So in this situation, we found out that the carrier did. Now he's saying it was his owner operator under his own authorities, yadi yadi. I couldn't care less what the story is. What I do care about is that I pay the actual carrier that did the shipment. The last thing that I want is anybody going after my customers, which means that the person that I gave the load to, if they go out of business, what happens in this situation is that the carrier is gonna go after my clients under the Bills of Lading Act and the Mercantory Law Amendment Act and all this nonsense that gives them the right, well, it's not nonsense, it's actually good rules that gives the actual carrier the right to go after the customers if in a situation if he doesn't get paid. So I would like to avoid all that and I would like to make sure that the correct person gets paid, which is the person that actually did the work. So we're gonna send off this email and we're gonna sort this all out. The next morning. So it's been 24 hours later after I had talked to Frank who assured me that the Sprite was not double brokered and that uh, it was an owner operator of his, but now I just got an email um, and I'd like to look a little bit deeper into this. So let's call one of our account reps over here. Hey, Ronan. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's going. Remember that Frank guy that I was speaking to you about yesterday? Yes. Yeah, he, he's actually double brokering the loads. Um, we found out. The guy that said that he gave it to the owner operator? Yeah, yes, no uh, owner uh, operator. There's no such thing. He was actually selling it to a third party and not paying the carriers. Got it. What's the name of the company that you sold the load to? Viva Vic. Viva Vic. Okay, so now the actual carrier is called what? The actual carrier is called BSC. And they reached out to me and uh, forwarded over the proper documents to prove that they actually did the shipment and pay and uh, they didn't receive payment. Got it. Did you get the customs paperwork for that shipment? Yes, we have all the documentation. 
Good. So Viva Vic is the one that you sold the carrier to. You sold it to Viva Vic. Yes. Okay. And now, who did BSC receive the confirmation from? They received it from a, another another broker, uh, but it's not a uh, different broker. Okay, I'm looking at the load confirmation that they received. It's called Genetic Brokers LLC. That's right. So is that the fake company? Yep, that's a fake brokerage. So VivaVic is taking the loads and then they are sending it to Genetic Brokers from Chatsworth, California, and then actually gave it to a carrier called BSC who did the work. That's correct. Got it. So they want to get paid, stiff the carrier, carrier is going to go after your customer. Now, uh, how did you find VivaVic? On uh, on DAT on Loadlink. On Loadlink. Is it the first time we're using them? Yes, first time. Okay. Did you check their profile before you send it out to them? Well, I didn't set up the profile. It was uh, set up by uh, Ina. But we found out after when I did, they were uh, canceling, and then went to pick up that the following day. I checked them out on Google, and that's when we decided not to release payment. Got it. Can you do me a favor, please? On Viva Vic, can you please go on Google and draft up a review against their company, letting the world know that uh, they double broker freight? I'm going to place a phone call right now to this fake genetic brokers, whoever they are. Another thing we're going to do is you need to contact the customer service at Loadlink and let them know what's happening. All right. Okay, well, and uh, and hopefully this will stop. But I'm happy you've caught it in time. I'll make a couple of phone calls. Okay. No All problem. Right. I'm on it. Uh, also, you have the the Vivovic, the Frank guy. We have his number, right? Yes, we do. I'm going to call him right now. Okay. All right. Story is our broker's department gave it to a company called Vivovic. Vivovic somehow okay, got it to genetic brokers. They could be working together, they could be a fake together. Now genetic brokers is selling it to an actual carrier. So when we pay Vivovic, Vivovic will not make payment to anybody else, leaving the carrier stiff, and this is how double brokering works. So first of all, we're gonna place the phone call to Frank and we'll see what he says. The second thing I wanna see who in the world is genetic brokers LLC and why this is happening. So now we're going to look at this Viva Unique at, in carrier 411 and just wanna see who they are so you can see here that everything is red flag the carrier authority the insurance covers the policy the broker authority bond and trust everything is an issue why because they are a fake or they're a carrier that had one truck got their insurance got their authorities they started the company in july 15th of 2023 i can assure you the kamsar uh this is the person's email address the contact is marco pablo that's who the contact is. Now, you have here this Viva Unique. So that's who we gave the load to, but the actual carrier got the load from, here is a confirmation, okay? So the actual carrier was BSC Transport. We know that because we just talked to the carrier. He says he has all the proof. He actually reached out to the customer to let them know, which is our customer. Now, Genetic Brokers, that's who Viva is working with. So somehow Genetic Brokers got this load and now is selling it to BSC Transport. So you have two fraudulent companies now working together. Now, when I tried to call Genetic Brokers, they don't pick up the phone. So when we look at the confirmation here, it says Genetic Brokers LLC from whatever suit 208 from Chatsworth, California. Okay, here's their phone number. And then we have an Edward at Genetic Brokers LLC at gmail.com. This is a problem because number one, it says the Genetic Brokers LLC. Now here in very, very small, it says their MC number. Okay, here's their MC number, 1604642. Is this even correct? Now we gotta be an investigator. Here we go, we found them. Genetic Brokers LLC. This is their actual MC number, 16042. So now if we go to Carrier 411, we'll put that in the MC number, we'll submit, and here we have found Genetic Brokers LLC. Now, what do we know about them also? Bada beam, bada boom, everything is red flag. Carrier authority, insurance coverage, issue. Policy number, not acceptable. Broker authority, issue. Everything is red flagged over here. This looks like a freaking Christmas tree over here. Started December 21st, 2023. Brand new company out of the box. This is why brokers only want to work with people with six months worth of experience. It says that they are from Chatsworth, California. MC number. Let's see what else we can find about them. Taxes. Inactive. Inactive. FMC company snapshot. Brokerage license, inactive. Broker, inactive. Bond, no, they don't have a bond. What drives me crazy is how does a carrier, 
you know, accept a load from a company like this, this is actually, you know, even a little bit more surprising because the quick search that I've done, we here at ET Transport would never take a load from a, a brokerage like this. But now we know who we gave the confirmation to, which is Viva Unique. Now we saw the carrier 411 on uh, genetic brokers, which is, you know, just as bad. Again, these are all brand new companies. All this information is going to be forwarded to DAT and load link and hopefully um, you know we'll put some negative reviews on both of them so people don't get trapped in the same thing that we did now customers at the end of the day manufacturing plant they don't want to deal with this nonsense come on they just want their freight picked up and delivered but this is what we're going through i mean it's like a soap opera in here so damar sent us an email right now with the phone number to viva unique now you can see here that the phone number for viva unique is let's see what damar sent us 828-570-2959. Now, is that the same phone number? No, it's not. What I do know is let's try to give it a call. Now, this is the Frank that I talked to yesterday who assured me that this wasn't double brokered. Well, you can tell this phone is routing to somewhere else. Hi, you've reached. Okay, so he didn't pick up the phone, but what are we gonna do about it? Now we gotta leave a review in Genetic Brokers LLC that they are brokering double brokered stuff. They obviously have the Gmail account here, but you can't get a hold of them. They're not picking up their phone lines, which obviously means they're probably in on the entire scam. We need to report this both to DAT and LoadLink, and we need to put a couple of Google reviews letting people know that they are double brokering. So it's these players here that are ruining our industry. Now, this was about a $5,000 US order. These two you know clowns if this guy would have gotten away with it then I would have been left with a carrier BSC transport that then has the legal right to go after my customers and cause damage for me as a licensed broker he has the ability to cause damage to me through my customer so luckily in this case we were able to grab onto the funds we were able to not pay but sometimes you know these things only come out in 30 40 45 days 50 days 60 days the fake carrier has already been paid but the actual carrier is stiffed without getting paid. So what they do is they go after the shippers and receivers. This is what's happening right now in the industry. You gotta be very, very careful, not only who you're giving the loads to, but who you're also taking the loads from. Remember guys, you need to double check. So in our case now, I'm gonna go verbally abuse somebody for, for giving a carrier for this Viva Unique, for giving them a load, because if I would have done the research on them within two minutes with one truck, it looks like everything is red flagged. Now maybe it was all green, but our brokers have, before they give anybody a load they have to oh could that be our friend frank let's see if we can expose his ass that it oh that was him no let's try one more time hello hey hey can you hear me now i can hear you frank is this you yeah this is frank how may i help you frank it's ronan here from et transport i talked to you yesterday yes sir you told me that it was an yes, owner you told me it was oh, cutting you told me it was an, an owner operator that did this load. Yes, sir. You lied to me, my friend. But so what's that? I said you lied to me. What do you mean? I lied to you. I already sent you everything what you asked. You didn't. You didn't send me anything. You you brokered this. Operator. You double brokered this load, my friend. What do you mean double broker? It's not double broking. This my owner operator who is doing shipment for us. Doesn't look like it. You sold it to a company called Genetic Brokers, which they gave it to a company. I mean, your voice is very hard cutting. Can you email me or text? No, I want to expose you. I want to. I want to show people that what you're doing is wrong. So your voice is cutting. What I did wrong? You sold it to a company and then you sold it to another carrier. We did not sell to anyone. Yes, this you... guy is our owner operator. No, he's not. Your owner operator, a BSC Transport, is not your owner operator. You can check with them. I tell you everything. You didn't you send. You didn't send me anything. And check with them. I will expose people like you for what you do. I cannot understand what what are you saying now. I'm saying that you double brokered I my stuff to a carrier called BSC Transport. Which transport? BSC. Who's Genetic BSC. Brokers? Who's Genetic Brokers? Why are you asking me that? Why? Because you guys seem to be linked. You work with them a lot. With whom? With who's that? Who's don't per a carrier company or what? Don't pretend like you don't know. Oh. Which brokerage? Genetic Brokers Genetic LLC. Brokers. I have no idea who they are. Are you sure about that? 3% sure. More than sure. Then why is it that your owner operator why did, did not do this load? Do you want to speak with the owner operator maybe? No, I know who did this load. I have pictures of my load. I have and the customs. Who did this load? I have. It's BSE Transport. I have all the proof. 
Are you lying to me, my friend? My friend, I'm not a liar to lie to you. You are a liar. Because I have the proof already in my hands that you didn't do this load. So, you have a proof, I have a proof. Yes, uh, where is the customs paperwork? Show me the customs paperwork. You have already everything, my friend. No, you, I do not. Yes. You, did, you did not send me the customs paperwork. You can ask to Jamar to send you because we sent everything to them. You did not send them. Hello, that our owner operator who is doing job for us and getting paid from us. And that is not a double brokering. Yeah, so w w what you sent me is not uh, border crossing paperwork. You sent me a, I'm going to open what you sent. You sent me a certificate of insurance and you sent me a W-9 form. You did not send me any paperwork. What do you need? What else do you need? I told you I need the border crossing. You don't speak English? Border crossing. I, I sent. I sent. No, you did not Can you send. Take the same email? Can you take the same email to me? I'm looking at that email, opening PDF, certificate of insurance, that's it, and W-9. That's all you sent me when I asked you for border crossing okay. paperwork. Email, paperwork you are missing, so I will tell my team to send it to you because I'm out and uh, I will be out in the next one week. Of course you're out. You know why you're out? Because you're running away from the world, from double brokering freight. That's why you're out. Yes, my friend, you've been caught red-handed. I'm going to tell... Can you, can you send I'm... an email to the email address you have, which paperwork you need? I already have. I'm you telling you. you I'm telling you I already have all the paperwork that I need. I have the original carrier that crossed so the border. Have already everything. What's the problem now? The problem is that it's not you and it's not your owner-operator, which means you lied to me, which means you not tried to double broker... You're a liar, man. I don't know from where you got that kind of information that we double brokered or you are telling some brokerage company name or something like that. Who's that company? How can I contact to them? You're, the company, you want to do a three-way call? What did you say? I said, you want to do a three-way call with the actual carrier? So your voice is cutting. I said, I you, can't hear you. I said, you want to do a call with, you want to actually do a three-way call with the actual carrier that did this load? The actual carrier, actual carrier is ATT. No. Our owner operator. And then who is the actual carrier? Viva Unique is you is your your company name, correct? Yeah, Viva Unique is my company name. Yeah. So the owner the owner operator's company name is ATT. No, it's not, because that's not who crossed the border with my freight. So who crossed the border? I'm explaining to you that he's not the one that crossed the border. Somebody else crossed the border. So you, either you what don't. Is that somebody else? I'm telling you, it's called BSC Transport. That's not B, it's ACT Transport. No, it's not ACT. It's BSC. Who is BSC? Who is that property? I, I really, I don't understand. Uh, what about you are talking about? What I'm talking about is that you sold my load to another company. That's what happened. I didn't sell to anyone. I give the load to my owner operator. Yeah. Who did the load himself? No, he did not. He did not do the load himself. Okay, I, I'll send you an email. Please send it to me. Okay, I, I gotta go. I don't have any more time for this shit. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. All right. So he sounds really convincing, I'll tell you that much. All right, so sounds pretty convincing over the phone. I still don't believe him. Why don't I believe him? Because of their phone numbers, because of the, the carrier 411 profile. The genetic brokers are not picking up. The actual carrier did pick up the phone. I did have a conversation. So what's left next is now I got to pick up the customs paperwork to see who actually crossed the border with the load. And once I have that, then I'll know the actual carrier that did it, and then I will get to the bottom of this. But guys, this is what we deal with on a regular basis. So hopefully you don't get trapped into this double brokering stuff. Make sure you know the carriers that you're using when you're selling your freight. Okay, hopefully you learned something from this video. I'm Ronan. Leave the comments down below.